Hi, I'm Paul Schmidt. I'm the owner and creative video strategist for Unidus Multimedia, and I want to thank you for journeying with me as I reflect on the time I had my stroke and the recovery afterwards and what I learned. And the mo the, this crucial situation in this last video on in this series about this is about the help I received. But it's not just the help I received. It's the help that was provided and that people just gave. But the simple fact is, you know, when you're a business owner, there are times you get stubborn and feel like you can take on the world and you don't need to hear any more advice or you don't need to have, but what the case is, is the fact that there will be times when you need help and you need to ask for it. And don't be afraid to ask for that help because there's people out there who want to help you. Especially if you've been a really good friend, a really good colleague, a business partner, or just a generally good person, people will step up to help you. And you can't downplay that. It was quite surprising and actually quite humbling that after I received, well, after I had my stroke, the outpouring of love, the outpouring of support, the outpouring of folks that said, what can I do to help you? Was amazing because first of all, I didn't expect any help. I should have because I was incapacitated. I was in the hospital. I was had to go through recovery. There's things that I couldn't do and I couldn't tackle for the simple fact that it wasn't possible at that moment. I received people that said, can I help you with this? Can I help you with that? Can I do this for you? Can I do that for you? And the simple fact, when that happens, don't ignore it. Then say yes, then it's time to accept it. You never want to feel like you're helpless. But the thing, the thing is, you as a person always want to feel like you're helpful. And that's what other folks want to do for you because they've obviously seen where you've helped others and they feel like it's their turn to pay it forward. So don't take it as a slight when somebody says, hey, can I help you? Or I'd like to help. If you, even, if, even better is when they have a more uh, concrete way of of saying how they can help. I would like to help you do this. And that happened numerous times and I cannot stress how helpful, no pun intended, that was. Because of the simple fact is I needed help. I needed to get bounced back on my feet. I needed to have somebody to help me with my confidence because uh, it was shaken. I, had, I needed somebody to help me with my stress level because it was really high because I almost, lo I, I could have lost everything, not just my life, but uh, my business, and not only that, but it would have affected my team's life as well. So it was a lot of stuff in that regard that we had to, that I had to think about. But the simple fact that I lived my life the way I did, and it, came back to me and I really, really appreciate that as it came through. So just a couple things to think about is like always don't be afraid to ask for help because you're going to need help. But when you ask for help and somebody says, I can help you, or even if they come out of the blue and says, I would like to help you, take them up on that offer. They're not looking for anything but just that. That is the, one of the biggest things I took away from the situation I was in. And once again, I thank you for coming along on this journey with me as I process all the things that I learned. There's actually a lot more that I haven't even touched on, but I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to have you subscribe to all of our stuff uh, on YouTube, our email, as well as our blog. And looking forward to seeing you out there. And remember, if you need my help, I'm here for you.